First, a story you'll only see here. A family calls for help getting this tree taken down, worried the next storm might knock it into their home. But the company that came made a huge mistake. Listen to your gut, because I knew this was not right when I couldn't find any information on the internet about this company. The tree company ended up dropping the tree onto their home anyway, and that's not even the worst part. It also hit an 82 year old man sending him to the ICU. So we sent Amanda Van Allen down to Summit County to get to the bottom of this mess, and she found out the company is now giving this family the runaround. The damage is unbelievable. This humongous tree slammed into this home just over a week ago, completely destroying the gazebo, and the back porch is in shambles and knew that there was potential that somebody died. So I didn't know what state I would find people in. Lori um, Creek holds back me. tears as she recalls the Sunday before Thanksgiving. That's the day she says her family hired alternative property maintenance to chop down a tree in her father's backyard. My husband and father were on the deck. I was in the house with my mom and they were prepping to cut the tree. Creek says as soon as they started chopping, the tree slammed into her parents' back porch. Her dad was trapped underneath its limbs. So I ran out from the front of the house to the side and I couldn't see anything. And then I ran back in the house and my dad had run from here off the deck and was on his knees. And my husband was next to him trying to determine what was wrong with him. Creek's 82 year old dad now has a broken leg, two broken hips, a broken shoulder and a spinal fracture. And who's paying for his hospital bills? Well, according to Creek, it's not alternative property maintenance. They have made no contact with us. We have reached out to the numbers that we have from their company many times. We reached out to the company too and didn't get many answers. The guy who picked up the phone, Corey Howard, told me he was not the owner of the company even though the police report says he is. He tells me the four person crew was probably cutting down a different tree and the tree in question just fell on its own. But again, the police report states it differently. The officer says he heard the workers arguing, saying, quote, if you would have gone up 20 more feet, this wouldn't have happened. News 5 also learned that none of the workers had valid driver's licenses and the plates on their work car were expired. I spoke with the family's insurance company and they tell me it could be weeks or months before they even start the repairs on this home. In Summit County, Amanda Van Allen, News 5.